Let me talk to you. I'm hearing in this. And would you believe today, the 21st day of May, is actually my birthday. And to everyone that wished me a happy birthday, I thank you. As regards this match, I think Claire are going to be much too strong and they're going to the win my friend. Yeah, this is basically a crucial match. It's basically a monster semi-final. And I just think home advantage is going to win it for Claire. And there's, there's a lot of car people saying they're going to hold Tony Kelly. But do I think that's going to happen? Yes, Kenny. No score today. Are you mad? He can no score. No that, that man is, is a cuckoo, cuckoo. Out, 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 out. Great to see the Kerry women here in the Munster final against Cork and the Camogie. Hopefully the kingdom can win. Macker. Great run here by the Cork woman. Nice pass inside. Oh, Mark up, Kerry. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's a great pint by Cork. Great pint. Straight over the black spot. First pint for Cork. This is the lowest scoring match ever. Ten minutes, one pint. Almighty Jesus, lads. No. Go on, Kerry. No. Great run here. Look at this, she's trilling for aisle. The Kerry midfielder, drive it over. Pull it over. Gives it outside. That's gone in. Yes, it's gone in the kingdom. Oh no, wide, wide. Another oh, chance over there, centre forward for Cork. Blondie woman, the blondie woman is running through. The blondie woman drives it in. And the blondie woman drives it over the bar. Good start here for the Rebels. Kerry yet to score. Cueva Buckley there going off with a very bad injury. Very bad injury. Stretchered off. She's been replaced by a lady called Beastings. I wonder if she related to Carmack Beastings, the Middleton hurler. Just looking at the Kerry team, their players are all from three clubs. And the vast majority of them are from Clan Morris and Killard. That's an unbelievable achievement that they have such a good Camogie team with so few clubs. No. Go on, Kerry. Oh, belt her shoulder, flatten the cock woman. Jesus Christ, lend her her ass. An awful belt of a shoulder by the Kerry woman. Now, she's a woman with the strength of two horses. Oh, what an unbelievable belt of a shoulder there by Kate Lynch. She flattened the cock woman. And by God, she definitely deserves two claps. And Ric Flair. Woo! Oh, Jesus, the Kelly women are flattening them. They're flattening the cock women. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Raph. Come on, man. Jesus Christ Almighty. Who's this one? Johnny, the well known GM man. Johnny, yeah, yeah. Oh, Johnny, who will win today? Do you think Cock will win today, Johnny? Yeah, and what about Limerick and yeah. Tipperary? Jeez, yeah. you're giving Limerick no chance. I don't want him. Oh, he doesn't want him. Out, out, says Johnny. Out, out, out to the Limerick men. I'm going to be fucking on the radio now, Nicks. I'm here with the Glen Rovers men now. Look, you have the two downies and the great Patrick Hargan playing. Can Hargan do the business today? Of course he can. No, no. Hargan. And when the clear backs will come out, Hargan will be driven out, 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 out. I just feel there's going to be no stopping clear today. One, four, five points.
finished. Cock, hard leg is finished. Go oh, Tony Kelly. Tony, there's no cock on our better than Tony Kelly. You've no man like Tony Kelly. There's no cock man as good as Tony Kelly. Hey, tell this cock man, there's no man like Tony Kelly. Out, 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 out. Come back to cock. Delete. And he wished me a happy birthday. He's a fucking hero. I love him. I love him. All I'll say to Cockman is, I thank you. You have a mind. The man to watch today is John Conlon. I think he's going to do untold. He's a stallion of a man. Is that a Wexford hat? It is a Wexford hat. Yeah. No, sir. There was war here. A clear fella came up and stole my hat. I was looking at a fella took it off him. I can't believe this! He stole my hat! What the fuck? I'm one of Cock's biggest fans here. Give me a prediction. Man in the match? Dallas is given? No. I'm with some clear fans here. And the better are going to get the win today. Free 
Shafty to give clear the lead. I don't want it. Oh, 
to now to make it a two-point game for Father O'Neill's men. Drives it in and drives it. He win for Clare. They only won by a pint in the finish, but they were definitely five or six pints a better team. As regards men in the match, I definitely give it to Dermot Ryan. His pint there near the finish was simply iconic. Yeah, Dermot Ryan, he hurled all before him, and there's no question he was men in the match. Himself and Tony Kelly, they were brilliant today, but definitely Dermot Ryan, men in the match. Hail, hail. I thought cop were useless today. They were red raw useless. I said the cop colors, the cop colors need to be sentenced to deletion. Delete, delete, delete. This bit all, these cock villains are firing ham at me. Are firing ham. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, this poor man, he's after making a balls of his cone. He made a balls of it. Are you County Down, man? This bit hard. They're here from County Down. Is that a Limerick jersey? Oh, no, sorry. I thought it was, I thought it was a Limerick jersey. Look at this. We have the future Tony Kelly here. Great snap. Listen, young lad. What you think of the Clare Hurlers? Can, can he win the All Ireland? Yeah. Now, so who who's the best hurler in the country? Carl Malone. Carl Malone. Yeah. She, she's not so hardly. He's never the best hurler in the country. Yeah. Now the big question is: Carl can be knocked out of the Munster Championship unless he beats Limerick. Can he beat those Limerick? Yeah. Yeah. Delete! 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 Look, I... Can, can Cork beat Limerick? I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it, but... We can! Yes! Yes, boy! Yes, boy! Yes, I just want to thank this cockman. He came up to me and he gave me lovely chips. A mighty sound gesture by that rebel. A thank you! Thank you! Yes, the Clare fans here are happy. <laughs> Massive credit 
He cut that slitter today out of the clouds. Where is he? Into the terrace, he cut it over friend and four. Ah! They, they call him Diddy. Diddy. Oh, no, sir. Ah! Well, Johnny, what do you think of the Clare Hurlers today? We're going to win that Ireland, and we're going to the moon. To the moon. Ah! To the moon. Ah! What do you think of that cut, man? Ah! Are you finished? Ah! Are you finished? Ah! Ah! Out, 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 out. Oh my god, these people told me Wex would last to Westmead. You, shush! The last to Westmead. Almighty Jesus, lads. And I picked them to win the All Ireland. Oh no. Oh, wait. A great win for Westmead, though. There's carnage here. And I have to steal my hat. If you see a wax on head around in this, it's my I can't for a snorlet, an obsolete mule with a head in them like a Spanish on it. Up the river. I can't believe that. This dirty bastard came up, snapped my head off my head, and he was a clear man, a clear man. Some win for Westmead. They beat Wexford 418 to 222. Wexford have been sentenced to deletion. Delete! 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 I can't believe that. Wexford are the championship. There's many here from St. Finbar's. <laughs> are you going to win the Cock Championship this year? Yo! Shush! That man is raving! A shush! A shush! And I'd my ticket bar for Wexford versus Kilkenny in Wexford Park next Sunday. I'd know I bought a guy now. Sure, Wexford out of the championship. Almighty Jesus, lads. Wexford beaten by Westmead. What the fuck? Hey, will he win the All Ireland? Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's Tony Kelly, the best all in the country. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Absolutely, you say. <laughs> you think he's better than Denny the Limerick lads? Way better, way better. Way better, he says. How so? And amazingly as well in that match, Wexford were leading by 16 points at half time. How can you lose a 16 point lead? By God. Jesus, what a game in the radio. Tipperary are beating Limerick by one point. One point. This could be a massive win for Tip. Massive free here for John McGrath. Last puck of the game against Limerick to level it. Yes, it's over. It's over. Level. It looks like Tipperary are in pole position for the Munster final. Hail, hail. Yeah, that game finished level. 25 points each. It was an unbelievable game of hurling by all accounts. And Tipperary are in poor position to make the Munster final. They'll definitely beat Waterford next weekend. Tipperary are back. And amazingly, if Wex would lose to Kilkenny next week, there's a possibility they could be playing in the Joe McDonough Cup next year. Almighty Jesus, lads. I still can't get over Wexford. God almighty, they're some very good hurlers. I genuinely thought they had a chance of winning the All-Ireland. That was a bad statement by me. Would you believe I'm after getting a slice of birthday cake for my birthday? And these two men are Limerick men, and they're living in Shannon County, Clare. Clare. 
Clear woman, what do you think of those two, two Limerick men and they're from Shannon, County Clare? Out, out! Yes, out, 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 out! <laughs> Would you believe I'm celebrating my birthday as well with this man? And I tell you, everyone that's born on the 21st of May is going one place and yeah! one place only. And yeah! that is... By God, there must be big supporters of Limerick here in Shannon County, Clare. They have their Limerick flags out. By God. Jesus. More Limerick flags here. Almighty Jesus, lads. There's history being created here in Abbey Field, County Limerick. The first time a hurley is seen. Throw the ball to him. Oh, Jesus Christ. These Abbey be fielding, they wouldn't know Hurley for a brush. God almighty! We'll give him one last chance. Can you hit this one? Woo! Oh! Woo! Glory, Abbey Field! Glory! Up to one, Hurley! Oh, I'm sorry, he's actually a carry man, he's from Dwar. Only half a shit! Only half a fucking shit! Sorry! I wronged this man, I wronged him! I called him a Limerick man. Jim Quirk, first man to play for Dwar that Bay Kill Gavin in the match. Yes, I was playing. No, so. No, so. Ah, uh, you'd know he was a Kelly man with the accent. No, so. <laughs> up up the Hurling, up the kingdom. Woo! I'm going presenting this young man here with a Hurley. He's never had a Hurley before. So I'm presenting him. He's from Abbeyfield. And by God, he could be a future Limerick Hurler. So now for you, young man. Yeah. Woo! This young man is going to hurl on before him and he's going to bring Limerick hurling to the moon! Yeah! To the moon! We're going to give this man a test now. No. Woo! This is a great hurler. Woohoo! And finally, I'll finish on this. That sneak from Innes that stole my Wexford hat today will have no look. The obsolete mule. Uh, Phillips. 